Ranger 5 was launched on October 18, 1962 at 4.59 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 12 at Cape Canaveral. Its goal was to take photos of potential landing sites on the moon in the minutes before smashing into the lunar surface. Instead of doing so, Ranger 5 lost power soon after starting its mission, switching from solar panel power to battery for an unknown reason and never recovering. It did, however, pass within 725 kilometers of the moon. Ranger 1 and 2 had been Block 1 Ranger spacecraft, but they both faced launch failures due to problems with the Atlas Agena launch vehicle. Practically every Atlas Agena delivered to Cape Canaveral had so many problems that NASA had to fix them up before they could be flown, delaying launches. Ranger 3 through 5 were Block 2 spacecraft, and these had working launchers, but Ranger 3 had a guidance failure while 4 and 5 both had solar panel problems. The state of the Ranger program was a deep blow to the image of NASA, but that was somewhat alleviated when Mariner 2, a spacecraft related to the Rangers, was launched successfully. As of the flight of Ranger 5 though, Mariner 2 had not actually reached Venus, and Ranger 5's failure forced NASA to pause Ranger launches for over a year and rework the design into the Block 3 Rangers, numbered 6 through 9. Ranger 7 became the first to actually fulfill its mission in July of 1964, followed by further successes with Rangers 8 and 9. During this time, the Soviet Union had at least 10 failed moon missions, not having a single success between Luna 3 in October 1959 and the Zon 3 flyby in July of 1965. Ambitious aims aside, this record proved the truth in the title of Robert A. Heinlein's 1966 sci-fi novel, The Moon Is a Harsh Mistress. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Ranger 5.